um, we had a huge presentation about LGBTQI at work, and it was very enlightening. I learned a lot. So, my professional life is going amazingly, and my acting career is going great as well. I have a show coming up in, um, in two weeks, on the 15th, at Flappers Comedy Club. And at 9 o'clock, it's with a bunch of amazing gay comedians. So thank you, Nick Wilcox, for uh, believing in me and having faith in my humor. It's pretty uh, raunchy. So if you're a child, do not come to my show. But if you're all grown up and ready to hear some very interesting things about me, come on over. Um, I wanted to take a so, minute yeah. to... Um, to say some things about relationships because one of the things I've been really considering is you know who is the next person and being I someone with a disability life. it's not always easy to meet um, a soulmate to that or special so what is the guy to do you know you meet these people and you know let me let me let me go back a little bit in uh, in New York in Washington I'm like I'm like honey guys come up to me, guys approach me. I think it's the whole exotic Latino thing maybe. Maybe they don't have those in those places as much as in California. But in in New York and Washington I was very sought after. And people came up to me and actually asked me out. Strangers. Now if I could count the times that that's actually happened in LA, um, little less, little less. Uh, so the thing that I need to do is attract that energy that I have in New York and Washington and bring it with me to LA. Uh, and it might be an internal thing. It might be something that I'm not doing a uh, switch. Uh, I'm not flipping. Tears of, um, tears as in levels, not as in sad water marks. Um, of uh, things to uh, accomplish and to conquer and to explore with someone. Uh, and I also have my heart. I've always been somebody that followed my heart and my emotions first. My brain has a big chunk of that, but not as much as my heart. Um, and I really want to find somebody that can fall in love with my heart and my spirit and meet me on some sort of spiritual level instead of just a carnal physical level because we all know that fades and that goes away and that just but internal beauty lasts forever have you ever seen a really beautiful older person and i can tell you where that beauty comes from that beauty comes from their spirit um and a, a life full of beautiful I've been waiting a really long time to find that i've person. been in love yes uh, not recently, no. Uh, the people that I've been in love with, they know who they are. And, and they've come out of, in and out of my life. And I've learned what I've needed to know from them. And the person I want in my life now is somebody I can grow with. Somebody I can learn from. And somebody that I can... That challenges me as a person. And spiritually as well. And I keep bringing up that word spirituality. And I think it's a harsh word for a lot of gay people to swallow. Spiritual. Um, and all that really means is that you're connected. You have an umbilical cord to the source. And I call that I source I happen to God. be a very spiritual person. I tend to follow my heart more than my head. I really head. think you need um, to find someone on a spiritual... Um, and if not spiritual, definitely on a, on a soulful level. You know, I don't care if someone believes in a tree. Um, they have to have some sort of faith that pulls them up out of themselves, lets them look beyond themselves. I mean, that's what I want. I'm actually starting an LGBTQI support group for persons with disabilities in Orange County, like I did in Los Angeles. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll let everyone know when that's happening. But if any of uh, you out there have comments on dating, uh, uh, 
um, you know, share them. Like I said, keep tuning in. My next big adventure is in Sacramento where I will be uh, working with youth, mentoring, counseling, and um, just having a really good time.